This whole back is pushed out back here. Ooh. There it is. I honestly expected it to feel a lot more painful, but... So, patient just comes in, he's been complaining of lower back pain. Now you've had some imaging done, you've done some x-rays and some MRIs, and they've just said you had some bulging discs and some degeneration in your lower back. Um, we're at L1, L2, and then I think for the facet they said L5, L4, L5 for the facet? I think so. Okay. And then how long have you been dealing with these issues? Um, uh, about four years. Four years? Okay. And then what were you doing four years ago that kind of accentuated? Uh, I was helping my parents move furniture and I was pushing like a loaded china cabinet and I kind of felt something in my lower back. Okay. Gotcha. And then uh, no, but no radiating symptoms down the legs when it happened? No. No? Okay. And then you have been saying like so both your feet be kind of getting tingly? Yeah, from time to time, but rarely. Okay, and it's like the whole top of the foot. It's not going like underneath and you're not losing sensation. It just kind of tingles. Correct. Okay. Anything else going on? Neck, shoulders? No, nothing Nothing in neck or shoulders, just the, that right knee. And I mean, I know I have a big knot in my quad, but okay. right knee pain. Okay, right, because you've also had those, you've had ACL repairs yes, on sir. that right side. But yeah, I just feel how round you are through this. Just tight. Uh, a little bit. That's how I move pretty good. This is for the pubic symphysis, so just the front of the pelvis. Okay. Okay. This one you're just going to push out against my arms here as hard as you can for five seconds. Go ahead, push. Push out. Five, three, two, one, relax. All right, go ahead, put it inward towards my hands here. Push in. That's it. 
That's it. It's almost a yawn. I'm gonna work through the quads here a little bit. No, I feel that not that it keeps catching closer to my kneecap, but yeah. it's not painful. Okay. You can go harder or deeper if you need. Okay. Yeah, it's a pretty bad knot there. Yeah. Alright, here, breath in for me. All right. Good. Alright, breath in here for me. Right here, deep breath in for me. Oh, my God. Oh, beautiful.
whole back is pushed out back here. See, he's turning red already, just from just from my elbow. That's where all your bruising is, is in your mid to lower. I honestly expected it to feel a lot more painful, but this is less intense than your elbow. Right. <laughs> it's usually how it goes. I know, it always looks intense on Yeah, on it, it does look scary, but...
pretty bad. I scrape through your shoulders because even though you came in here, you know, for just low back pain, right. the reason why I'm working through here to down here is because all of this tissue here is locked up. You like just by evidence of the scraper, you know, there's he bruised through here, he bruised through the shoulders. A lot of these areas are congested because they've quit working. All this buildup is because it has nowhere to go. Your body has given up on you and it stopped moving this fluid and moving this blood and moving this tissue through you, so it's just building scar tissue. These are all injuries, small or significant, you know, hmm. that have locked this upper part of your back up, and that's why your low back is what's hurting you. Okay. Because if this freezes, this down here has to pick up the slack. Because you still have to be able to live your life. You still have to be able to go to work and get moving. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not as bad as I was expecting, but yeah, I see the, the pockets of it. Yeah, it's just like all the way down. It's like from here, spine, this is all just not working. Okay. This is all congested tissue. You can see as I like, further down I got into the lower back. Hang on, let me zoom in. There was nothing there. Hmm. There was nothing here. All of that was clean and clear, but as soon as you start getting further up, it's like, mm, we're not working. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna finish with the rest of the cracks here. So for this one, just hand your hips like this for me. You're gonna sit up as straight as you can, head back. And then just push back with the elbow that way. There you go. I'll relax the elbow here for me. Good. Good. All right, go ahead and push back with the elbow. There you go. Here, bend the elbow for me. Good. Ooh, that one. Yeah, let's go. All right, good. 
Here, I got you. Punch a little bit more for me. Here you go. Ooh. <laughs> that was a lot more there, man. Yeah. Wow. All right. You can go ahead and stand up for us. See how everything feels. I mean, looser. I don't. I don't. I don't feel my back pain right now. Right. Yeah, we relax a lot of those muscles. We got to pull them apart a little bit. They were all spasmed. They're all like this. That's what the big benefit of the scraper is. The scraper, just like you're telling me, my elbow felt worse. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm trying to push through your tissues into your spine to try to break up these ribs and break up these vertebrae to try to get them to wiggle, give them some wiggle room. The tissues, they need the scraper or cupping to try to pull apart muscles. Your muscles are all like this in your low back. I'm trying to bust them up to try to get some gaps in there so they can start seeping and try to get rid of a lot of this gunk that's been built up in there. Okay, try to bring back some of this mobility and flexibility as quickly as we can. Alright? All right. All right, is there anything else you would like us to work on before you head out? You feeling pretty good? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. All good. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming in. Glad thank we you. could help you. All right, thanks.